Hi everyone. Uh, this video is just to give you a bit of a clue of how to fix some common issues when you build your application uh, for WebGL and itch.io. Um, those issues are mostly around where you've designed your game, and here's my excellently designed Pong game in uh, Unity. You've designed your game in Unity, but then you go and look at it in an actual uh, web build or on itch.io itself, and it looks completely different. Uh, so in this example, I had two paddles, uh, which we can't even see. Uh, my player text is sort of there, but it's not really in the same spot and it's being chopped off. So how do we solve this kind of issue? Um, well, first we need to think about where this actually comes from. And so it's actually that by default, when you're working with the game view in Unity, you have a thing called the free aspect, which my mouse is highlighting over here. Um, and so I recommend not to use free aspect because if you see that if you resize the game view, you can see that this, the aspect ratio and the number of pixels, um, the resolution of the game is completely variable and changing. So there are various techniques that we can use to make stuff work always with the same, um, uh, you know, layer, uh, always work depending on what people's um, screen resolutions are or aspect ratios are. That's kind of difficult, but I'll show you the first one, which is that when you're using a canvas, that the text boxes that you've got, you should think about where their anchors are. So if you look at this, uh, the two text boxes that I've got here, um, they are in the left and right of the screen, but they've got an anchor to the middle of the screen. So it means that they only move if the center of the screen moved, which it can't. So instead, you should change over here on the right in the inspector the anchor for this. So if you click on the little anchor and you hold down Shift and Alt, uh, and well, actually, no, just Shift will do, um, you can click on top left for the player, and you see that my anchor there has changed. I'll do it for the other one. I click on it, I hold down Shift, and I'll make this the top right because that's roughly where I want them to be. I can show you this without even rebuilding now, that if I resize my window, no matter what kind of screen, phone, or whatever the player is using for the game, those are in roughly the right spot. Now it's a bit more complicated than that overall, but let me show you now the other issue that we have for non-UI things. So with UI, we can muck around with the, the pivots. But for world objects, if I go down to them here, right, in my scene view, the problem is if I am allowed to move my camera around like this, you can see that the white box representing my camera obviously changes as well. And that's always really centered around wherever the camera is positioned. And uh, Unity will always make sure that the height of the camera matches, but uh, it's going to reduce the width. Right? That's because when we deal with a camera, the option that we have in Unity is just to set the size. And if we look at that by putting a mouse over it, it tells us that that is the vertical size of the camera. And it's actually the half vertical size. So by default, my camera was five size, which is five Unity boxes um, from the middle and five Unity boxes from the middle up to the top. Um, no matter what I do with changing the size of my camera, um, the height of the camera always remains the same, which is a problem for things falling off the sides of the screen. So how do we actually uh, deal with that? Um, well, the main thing to do here is to, the, the easiest thing to do for this unit is to not use free aspect and just design for a given uh, aspect ratio or even better, a given size. And so we actually know um, what size we'll be uploading to itch.io um, because if you go into your WebGL settings, so if you go into WebGL and click player settings, player settings you can get, I got to that via the build settings option or just via project settings. So I can go edit project settings and in the window that appears for that, you choose the player settings. Under the player settings, there's some options for the name of everything, but there's four tabs, um, at least on my one there is. Um, that's for the different ways that this game could be built, so Windows, uh, dedicated server, 
uh, Android and WebGL. We're on each I.O., so that's WebGL. And I've already opened it here. My resolution and presentation options um, tell me how big is the canvas on a web page. If I go back to, uh, and so for me, it's 960 by 600. That's the default. And if I show you my WebGL build, this is the same as what will appear on itch.io. You can guarantee that this is 900 by 600 pixels until you change, which I'm not going to do. So you can you can change these to be sensible values to whatever you want. If you want that to be 16 by 9 resolution, for example, I'm just going to leave these as 960 by 600. And what you should do is you should design your Unity game to the canvas width and height that you have specified. The way that you can preview that and force that to always happen in Unity is to click on that free aspect button. In, or you can choose lots of different resolutions that it will always do here. So, for example, I could make it so I'm always designing for 19, 20, 1080. That's great if you're making a Windows game, but we're not doing that in this unit. We're doing WebGL. So you should click this little plus at the bottom and you can enter in a fixed resolution. I'm going to enter in the same numbers, 960 by 600. You should put in whatever your canvas width and height are. You press OK. And you can see now, if I close off these little windows, that no matter what I do with my, um, my Unity here, even if I make it super small, right, it's always that same size as what I was previewing here in WebGL. So now that you've got it like that, then you just redesign your game to make sure it fits on that. So let me just sneakily put my paddles back in. Uh, that's all that needs to change here. Uh, you can see that if I change my size, those paddles are always on screen now. One other pro tip that can be handy here before I rebuild to prove that this works in the WebGL is that when you're using your canvas, uh, sometimes you might want to change the UI scale mode to be scale with screen size instead of constant pixel size. You change that and you can adjust. Uh, by default, it has a match of width, you want to change that all the way to width, uh, across to 1 to match the height. Um, and you might also like to set the reference resolution to match um, uh, the, the canvas size as well. This is just the safest way to design, make sure you're designing for always exactly the same number of pixels. I'm going to press build and run and pause my recording while uh, so that this doesn't take too long. Yeah, that's done building. Let's have a look. We can see that that is much better in WebGL now. My always on screen. My UI is nicely placed. Um, a bit of a far cry from what we'd previously had at the start here. Hopefully this helps you with your, your problems. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.